As a solopreneur, you have a lot to do. I mean, a lot. While we're all focusing on time management and figuring out processes to avoid burnout and exhaustion, the truth is, Sometimes you just need a little pick-me-up. I'm a total espresso enthusiast. In fact, clicking on the audio playlist of the Coffitivity app is basically my comfort zone. So if you're in a slump today, like we all get in and are looking for something fun, I thought I'd share after extensive experience my thoughts on the best espresso drink to match your move because let's face it, as one person business owners, our mood can shift a lot throughout the day. So listen to the following list. Are you feeling hopeful? As I hope you are as a company of one. There are many stressors, but you deal with them because you just know that one day all of this will pay off. This is why I think the perfect match for you in this mood is a double espresso. Why not go big, right? What is it you asked? You guess it, it's just two shots of espresso. Feeling stressed? Yep, I get that. Why do I think a brevet is a perfect match for this mood? Well, translated, a brevet means short, brief, or concise. And we all know a side effect of being stressed is being short, brief, or concise. See what I did there? The perfect pair. So what is it? Breve is basically a latte, but instead of steamed milk, you use steamed half and half. It's so rich, but oh, so good. Definitely recommend it. Are you feeling nostalgic? Sometimes you're daydreaming, you're company of one, you're allowed to do that. So if you're cozy up on the couch looking through old photo albums, why not pair it with a cafe au lait? It's traditionally served in a porcelain cup or bowl, perfect for warming your hands while you reminisce about the past. But what is it? It's equal parts coffee and steamed milk. It's very similar to a latte, but technically this drink doesn't have espresso in it. So maybe it shouldn't be on the list, but I'm gonna throw it in there anyway. It's just so good. Feeling sad? We all get those blues as solopreneurs. We can have the highest of highs, but sometimes the lowest of lows. So when you're feeling down, it's often helpful to turn to comfort and surround yourself with familiar things, which is why a good old fashioned latte is a good pairing for this part. So what is a latte? It is one or two shops of espresso and a cup blended with steamed milk and a light layer of foam on top. Are you feeling reflective? You should definitely take time as a solopreneur to be reflective. I was recently told that lattes are for drinking and cappuccinos are for sipping. How sophisticated, right? It's for this reason you should try a cappuccino as your go-to drink the next time you're feeling reflective. So what is a cappuccino? It's espresso, hot milk, and froth milk, ideally equal parts of each. And that's it. Yum. Are you feeling disgusted? Do you have customers, clients that are driving you nuts? Are you annoyed with your own habits? Whatever the case may be, if you have a pit in your stomach, try an espresso con panna. So what is it? A shot of espresso with a dollop of whipped cream. Doesn't whipped cream just make everything better? Are you feeling angry? We all get frustrated in our jobs. So if you're feeling angry, a way to help you calm down is to have something that makes you smile. And what makes people smile more than chocolate? Whoever invented a mocha is a genius and created a concoction that can help turn any frown upside down. So what is a mocha? You just coat the bottom and sides of the cup with half an ounce of chocolate syrup and then add a shot or two of espresso, fill the remainder of the cup with steamed milk and voila, you have your mocha. Are you feeling tired? We often work around the clock as a solopreneur. So while a regular shot of espresso may do the trick, if you really need a burst of energy to combat your drowsiness, turn to a red eye. Probably the drink I would actually get if I was on a red eye flight and didn't want to sleep. So what is it? You just add a shot of espresso to a brew cup of coffee and zing, you are on your way. <laughs> are you worried? As a solopreneur, you no longer have that safety net that you might with a bigger company. So if you can't shake that worried feeling, sometimes just a little bit of stability is what you need to start feeling better, which is why you should just go back to the basics and take in a dependable espresso. Just a good old shot of espresso. I don't need to say anymore. Are you distracted? I'm writing this post about coffee and I'm a solopreneur. We all get distracted. So have you ever gotten to the bottom of a frappe and then spent a significant amount of time more than you care to admit, scraping the bottom of the cup with a straw to get every last ounce. Frappe is the perfect pairing for distracted mood because it can help bring you back into a more focused mentality. Even if it's just to dedicate time to the bottom of your beverage, it can get you in that zen mode. <laughs> so what is it? It's a blended espresso, milk, and ice all to your taste. If you feel like being creative, add a syrup flavor of your choice. If you're feeling curious, I hope you're, you're thirst and your curiosity to learn more are alive and well as a solopreneur because there's a lot to learn. So as a coffee enthusiast, I hear this question a lot. What's the difference between brewed black coffee and Americano? 
While the ingredient difference may seem small, the taste and the way it goes down so smoothly are not the same. So an Americano is a single or double shot of espresso and six ounces of hot water and is actually my go-to most mornings. Are you feeling lazy? Do you need a little pick-me-up? For this mood, we recommend going with a Gibraltar. So what is it? It's a double shot of espresso with one to two ounces of steamed milk. It's basically the perfect mix between a latte and a macchiato. And that sounds so good right now too. Are you feeling grateful? Grateful that you've broken away from a job that you don't like or that you've gone out on your own. Just grateful for, for anything in your life. The term macchiato in Italian means stained, which reminds me of a state of permanence or something that can leave an impression, which is why I've paired this mood and this drink. A stretch? Maybe, but a great pairing nonetheless. What is it? A shot of espresso topped with a bit of milk foam on top. The drink itself can be translated to an espresso that is stained with foam. Are you feeling goofy? Whether you're delirious or actually in a really goofy mood, go for an affogato. So what is it? A shot of espresso with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Not bad. Are you feeling inspired? You will have many moments of this in your solopreneur journey. So if you are feeling inspired, see if you can master a flat light. If you think it's just a latte, you're wrong. So what is it? It's a third espresso and two thirds steamed milk and a super thin layer of foam on top. Are you feeling courageous? In my opinion, every single solopreneur is courageous because you made the leap to running your own business. For this, I think you should try a ristretto. In a nutshell, this is a stronger, more concentrated form of espresso that uses less water and it is quite the kick. I'm pairing it with the feeling of being courageous because, well, it's only for it. The bold. You didn't think I'd make this entire video without throwing in a pun somewhere, but there it is. <laughs> so what is it? It's just a very short shot of espresso. Are you feeling productive, which I hope is the thing. If you need something to give you a little boost to keep the productivity going, but don't want it to be too strong a la ristretto, go with a lungo. It's the perfect fit for crossing things off your list. It is a stretched version of an espresso with typically twice the amount of water. So there you have it. As a solo entrepreneur, your moods can vary greatly. Greatly. But don't worry, you're not alone. Consider joining the Lifestar community at the link in our, the description so that you can network and learn and maybe even get a cup of coffee with a fellow member.